Hello folks, Engineer775 here. I want to do a little unboxing video of a new battery. It's not a new company, it's just a company called Lineatech that is now a partner with Solark Inverters. And so they reached out to me to check out their battery. And at the same time, I kind of inherited a few customers that already have their product, Lineatech. So it was a good timing and to talk about um, a few things on how their products work and we actually added a few of their batteries to an existing Lineatech installation with a Solark 15k. So today um, they sent me their floor mount unit which is a 14.3 kilowatt hour uh, battery so it's right here just got it unloaded and so we're going to do a little unboxing and we're going to prep a place we're going to install it on a 15k I'll show you that but let me show you the battery here first all right, an opening and her first uh, impression of this Lineatech wall-mounted battery is kind of a solution to what we look for on a lot of batteries when we have to put them on the floor, is they don't protrude from the wall. This is a very tall, it's almost 42 inches tall and about 27 and a half inches wide, but it's like eight and a half, nine inches deep. So in some cases, the batteries we've been installing protrude too far into the garage space. So this is a great battery format, great size, great shape for doing that wall mount garage installation. And you can just keep paralleling them up. Again, these all come with a master slave configuration. They come with um, your comms cables for your BMS, typical grounding, wedge anchors to mount it to your concrete floor. And then the kind of the Amphenol style uh, connectors for the battery cables, positive and negative there. So very nice. So we have had to be in situations where we'd have to install bollards in a garage. We couldn't pass inspection because the batteries were just too thick and we didn't have this thin form factor. So Lineatech in this shape, uh, works really well in a garage. So we're just going to continue unboxing, talking about it, and think of ways that we can use it. And we'll turn it on, and uh, we're not going to install it today. Just wanted to show you. We're going to install it on a 15K here shortly. And with that, we'll be coupling, DC coupling the solar and AC coupling these microinverters to it. That's just a side issue, but we will see how it charges, see how it performs. And uh, they're usually pretty straightforward and they're all very similar and they all have their place. And I like the thinness of this battery. It is, uh, again, coming in at the whopping 300 pounds. So you've got to have some equipment uh, to handle it. So that's the only other, that's the main issue on these, these size batteries. All right, let's, let's get this thing vertical. Wow, I had to zoom out. This battery is so big. This thing is... Very tall, 41 and a half, like I said, and about 27 and a half wide, but it's very thin. So I'm just checking this battery out, becoming familiar with it. Um, here are the connections. I took the plate off, the knockout plate. You can connect your battery cables, um, communications, CAN bus, typical 485, and then dip switch setting, dip switch setting, which I am getting ready to install this. So I put it, dip switch number five is on. We're connecting it to a Solark. Got your grounding screw, typical, nothing out of the ordinary, normal things. This battery has 150 amp uh, continuous charge current. So if you're wanting to get the full power out of a 15K, which is typical for this type of battery, for a 200 amp hour battery roughly, I mean, this is 280 actually, um, you, wanna, you wanna check the, the charge current and discharge current. And so two of these would work beautifully with a Solark 15k setup to be able to get that full 275 amps out plus any surge so we want to uh, I think this thing has 8500 cycles um, at an 80 percent depth of discharge uh, so a good typical long life good quality lithium ion battery lithium iron battery uh, cables are very familiar uh, Amphenol ends, normal battery cables, come on, comms cables, and the ground cables. So this is becoming normal, simple uh, installation procedures for these types of batteries. Um, for this, again, I, I said 
I said wall mount before and I apologize. It's a floor mount and so we will also be using this as a template. There's see those two holes there and on the other side and we will uh, anchor this. They, they do also send the wedge concrete anchors with the battery. So again, took the cover off of that. It's got an LED dis display on the front. I need to shut the door so you can actually see it because it's pretty bright in here. Breaker, breaker here. And it's Wi-Fi um, compatible and Bluetooth. Um, these are pretty good handles for lifting it, for being able to move it around. It's pretty heavy. And, but they're good solid handles, good solid, good looking battery. So we're gonna install this soon. Just wanted to do a little unboxing and show you uh, what it looked like. It's a great looking battery. You probably can't, it's so bright, you can't see the green, but so basically, it, as most batteries come, they are at 50%. So you have these two LEDs lit up. And once you basically complete the circle, you'll be 100%. And this also becomes an indicator if there's a fault or something. It changes colors. But that is the Lineotech floor mount 14.34 kilowatt hour battery. And uh, stay tuned for part two where we will hook it up to the 15K and have some fun with it. Hey folks, just a reminder, I'm gonna be up in Ohio at the Zona Energy Conference. I'm the keynote speaker, so I'm looking forward to that. That is May 6th, Tuesday evening, and uh, we'll be talking about our humble beginnings, um, everything that we've been working on for the last 15 years. So please join us, if you can, in Millersburg, Ohio at the Zona Energy Conference. All right, if you need any help installing, designing, need some components, let me know. This is Engineer 775, signing out.